Good Saturday evening. Hope you had a wonderful start of the weekend. We're in 2 Corinthians 3. And I have a quick question. When was the last time you asked someone for a letter of recommendation? Ooh. I know being in college application season, how many did you have to ask from your teachers? couple people I can't remember probably like three or four three or four yeah. I remember the, the person I was talking about earlier today who made his transition last night he said Michelle I gave you a stellar I wrote you a wonderful letter of recommendation this was um, when I was contemplating getting my doctorate and I never read it but he said he mm -hmm. sent it he was the first one so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go and try to dig that up you know, to the source. But anyway, this chapter is talking about how we as believers are walking, living, breathing letters of recommendations. What? Yeah. In verse two of chapter three, it says, ye are our epistle. Epistle is a letter written in our hearts, oh, yeah. known and read of all men. And guess what? It's not the type of natural ink. It says, for as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the letter or epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit <laughs> of the living God. So not a printout, not a cartridge is needed, but God's Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> and because we are read of all people, we're examples, right? Because we have the spirit of God, no matter where we go. So we can know that we have the confidence and we are complete in the Lord. And where is that? In verse four, it says, and such trust have we through Christ to God word. We trust only in the Lord completing us and giving us that, that power and the direction to go forward. And in verse five, it's, Paul is saying, look, our sufficiency is not of ourselves. We are not confident of ourselves. So you hear all this about self-esteem and self-aggrandizement and a self-awareness. Mm -mm. Our sufficiency, it says, is of God. So the only type of confidence we need is God confidence. So I remember when my son had that important scholarship meeting and I was writing, you know, little cold words at the table. He was holding my hand and I was holding his hand, but it was veiled. It was under the table. And in my right hand, uh, there was a book facing him and I was just writing upside down scripture, right? And confirmation of the word that, look, son, you can do all things. Uh, Christ is in you. He is your sufficiency. He is your confidence. He is your completion. No man, no woman, no flesh can complete or give you confidence. That's only of God. And that is in verse five, because the last four words of verse six is the spirit giveth life and life more abundantly. No, no man can give that to you, right? That's only vertical giving from our Heavenly Father. So that's why we look to him to just uh, round us out. No, no person, no relationship, no car, no house, no job can fill us and keep us full and keep us satisfied because, because that's always passing, right? And those can become idols. But when we center our hearts and our minds in Christ alone, then he will fulfill us. In, in verse 12, it says, Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness and boldness of speech. That's why we can stand up. We can sit up straight. We can have our back, our posture, you know, of facing heaven, right? We can speak clearly. We can have the volume so that we don't have to be mousy, you know, mouth. Mm -mm. No, we can declare the goodness of the Lord to the world because our sufficiency is of God. We are a constant letter of recommendation. The ink is not the natural ink that you see in a pen, but it's the spirit of God, heavenly ink. And the last scripture, verse 17, 
is a seal. Now the Lord is that spirit, the spirit of God. That is the ink that gives us the recommendation. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is freedom, freedom to do everything that God has meant you to do in this life. Amen. So we can run on and we can just be that example, that living epistle read among everyone while we are on this side of heaven. I hope you have a wonderful evening preparing for worship, but know that God is a spirit of life. He gives life, he gives rest, and he gives replenishment so that we can worship him in spirit and in truth. Have a good evening.